So Where our first stop is Gautier Soho, which actually I went in a previous vegan restaurants video in London. <laughs> so it is by Chef Gautier and he creates foods that's really experimental, all different Great. textures, super fancy. Wow. So really, really thoroughly enjoyed my experience here as you will see later during these clips. We're at Gautier Soho. <laughs> It's so cool, right? It is so cool. Look at the menu. Oh god. Pretty. This one's very exciting. Kombu's caviar. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh my god. The mushroom flavor comes through. It's like earthy. Oh, this is this is worth getting out of. This is brioche buns colored with chlorophyll, so it's green and some puree. Do you want to like open one? So it looks really. Cool. <gasps> oh, my, oh my god, it's so. It smells like. And it's so green. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I'm not being fine dining. <laughs> Wow. This is really weird. Lettuce. Like this. It's lettuce puree. Right? Yeah. It's really good. The, oh. the acidity really mm. helped. And the try not to say so good. Yeah. Let me find words. This texture, though. It's so flaky. Fresh stuff of winter root. Mm. Good. That's really, really nice. This might be my favorite one so far. Is it? I don't even tell what it is. It's like, um. Just sorcery. Mm. Oh, wow, it's so creamy. What is that? Is that the artichoke? Mm. It's just so many textures going on. Mm. Like, I can't even explain it. Think about the amount of thought that goes into it. That's beautiful, huh? What do you think? It's really, really good. It's, it's very, it's acidic and sweet, and I really like that sort of profile. Oh yeah. I also really, it is acidic and sweet. I really like caramelized onions as well. This might be my favorite so far. I'm gonna say that for every course. Or well, maybe it just gets better as it goes on. <laughs> Fresh truffles on top for you. Amazing. Thank you so we don't need for the gram. Yeah. Do you like truffle? You had truffle before? No, let me smell it. You never had truffle before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh the sauce is good. <laughs> the sauce is like super intense. <laughs> okay, can you let me try? Oh, wow. I don't know. I need to eat more first. Oh my god, that yeah. is intense. That is like so savory. Wow. Wow. I feel like it's almost too rich. Too. But the mushroom flavor comes through. It's like really earthy yeah. and. Oh, yeah. oh, umami is the yeah, word. Yeah. The dashi broth. Yeah. Plant-based burblock sauce. Wonderful. Oh, thank you. So it's a nice what is this? Yeah. Is that like... Well, yeah. This is really good. Is this your favorite? Also... No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what is the yellow thing? I really like it. Wow. Thank you. Wow. You finally got to try the meat. So I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's really, really good. It's really like meat, right? It's actually quite creepy. Not meat. Yeah, it's creepy. And the strands of it are amazing. Oh my god, it's so meaty. Hey, the strands are insane. Wow. Go to Mr. White. Yeah. <gasps> That's so good. The puree is so good. I don't want to describe it. It's just like, it's. I'm quite scared about this. Why are you scared? Well, because it's quite. This might. This might be something I don't actually know. Like. Nah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> We're alright. <laughs> We're okay. Does it taste very cheesy? No, it doesn't. Is that why you like it? Oh, it's good. It's cheesy, yeah. Oh, I like the apple. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. The clementine. Oh wow. It's texture. It's like gel like. Wow, that is so good. It's like so creamy. <laughs> is it is it like an actual chunk of hair? It's really, it's really, really nice. Is this your favorite now? Mm. Is this your favorite? It could be, yeah. That's really, really good. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so good. I just feel like all the textures and you're right, the pear like helps it. The creaminess of the chocolate and then the crunchiness of the I just feel like all the textures work really well together. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow, is that edible? Is that cacao lips? Yeah. It's good. They're nice. I don't like think they're incredible, but they're nice. Okay, let me try. I don't think this is too sweet though. Well, 
Yeah, it's okay. That's why the pair was so god. So, so god. So god. <laughs> god. Actually, I'm glad this is not that sweet. Yeah. I like the filling. It's raspberry. <laughs> oh, I think this is gold deep and this makes me upset. Mm. Oh, very dark. Very dark. It's too bitter for me. But it is very bitter. It's a truffle. I like it. But the texture is really smooth. Mm. It's so nice. Are you happy, Billy? I'm super happy. Yeah. Me too. So honestly, it was such an experience eating at Gautier. Billy and I really enjoyed our experience there. And at the same time, you can see I kind of struggled to describe the dishes just because all of the textures and flavors that were in my mouth. So I'm just really grateful to be able to try this. Our next stop is Tendril, which is located on Princess Street in central London. So it's called a mostly vegan kitchen. I think the only thing they have that is not vegan is cheese. But at the same time, they, they're on a mission to showcase what's possible in plant-first food. So I came with my buddy June, and we're here to try out the different stuff on the menu. Yay! <laughs> this is a crispy beetroot bow. It looks so good. <laughs> good. Is it? Let me try. I don't know what it is. Oh yeah, it's good. It's not spicy. Mm. I'm just gonna wait. Okay. Is it good? Mm. <gasps> yeah? Okay, 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 let me try it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, very flavorful. Mm. I can't even tell that's beetroot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crispy. The salad? Yeah. Wow. Okay, I'm glad you like it. Oh my god, beetroot. Yeah, oh my god, the, the sauce is so flavorful. Right? It's so tangy. Pita bread, the cauliflower, wow. And the kim kimchi. Oh, so excited. The toasty. Okay, try the toasty. I can't even like hold it. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. You try. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. That's really good. The kimchi's good. Yeah. This pineapple is really interesting. At first I thought it was like pickles, but it's pineapple. I'm excited for this. You trying? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> good? I wasn't expecting it. It's really good. It's really good. Okay, okay. The cauliflower is so tender. So Gina and I had a really nice experience here at Tendril. I think all of the food was super flavorful. Really loved the cauliflower, the beetroot bao, and also even the kimchi toasty. Everything was really nice. So our next stop is Spring, which is a really elegant dining restaurant next to Somerset House. So they use seasonal ingredients to really elevate the dining experience. And we were here to celebrate my sister's birthday. So this is the menu. Let's do a, a, a recording this okay? Is it good? Okay. 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 Look at this bathroom. <gasps> it's so pretty. Whatever. So we have the vignole, which is vegan, some salad, crispy potatoes, and chicken. I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god, I don't know how they have all the this flavor going on. I'm gonna try the salad. I can't taste much of the dressing, but the leaves are good. Try the potatoes. Good texture. So crispy and then inside so fluffy. So because this place is not a fully vegan restaurant, I didn't have super high hopes coming into this, but actually the vignole was super good and also the potatoes with the black garlic. And everything was just really nice and the service was amazing. Fifty-fifty percent chance. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you didn't say happy birthday to me. Happy birthday! So I record a tart, and then a uh, thanks rhubarb sorbet with strawberries. Rhubarb sorbet. <laughs> Pretty good, tangy. I like it. Is the tart good? Good. Yeah. What are these pan? I love pan. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Okay. 
So our next stop is Tofu Vegan, and this is the place that I bring people if they want to try Chinese food, but it's vegan. It is Asian mom approved, so I really enjoy this place because it is really authentic, and the staff is always super nice and friendly. They all speak Chinese, so you know that it's good. So I was really happy to share some of my childhood favorites with everyone. So these crispy duck pancakes used to be my favorite when I went back to Beijing, but now it's veganized using wheat gluten. So you wrap them in a Chinese pancake along with cucumbers and onions with a hoisin sauce, and it tastes amazing. So my friends all really like the duck pancakes and we have some black pepper sizzling tofu here with a black bean sauce and also with some peppers and black beans and obviously eat it with a bowl of rice which is the ultimate comfort food. So I think it's, it's I just mainly which is like it's like then we also got some chili oil dumplings and then also this dong bay potato noodles which is one of my favorite cold dishes. They mix it up all together but my friends didn't like it that much because I think there was a bit of a mustard wasabi flavor. It's like sweet potato like starchy noodles. What do you guys think of the tofu? Fire. Fire quite mm -hmm. I'm really glad that my friends like the food and just really happy to share cultures, Asian food, you know? So it makes me really happy. I'm gonna use the fork. Sorry about this. No. Not really. But there's something in it, I guess it's wasabi. Oh, it's cold. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Right? I like You don't like the. I don't like it. I'm sorry, guys. I thought you would like this. Chad is like, I'm, I'm not in there. Do you like that? Do you like this one? Okay, I'm glad. Do you like it? Glory, is it stressful at all? Like, because obviously you are free of things, right? Like, what if people don't like it? Do you feel like, oh shit, I feel sad. But this one's good. I'm glad you guys like it. So I was really happy to come with my friends and share all the different dishes together. Honestly, sharing food is the best. And at the same time, some of my friends didn't like the Dongbei Da La Pi cold glass noodles, but everything else was amazing. And I still like that dish. That dish is one of my favorites. So I feel like I do the after school cookie club a lot because it was featured in my previous vegan restaurants video. But at the same time, this place is just so good. I have to come back again with my friends after we went to Tobu Vegan. So again, it sells cookie dough and a lot of artisan vegan cookies, which they bake with a lot of good ingredients. And this time we got a cookie dough pot with vegan soft serve from DAPA. And it was just amazing. I got the PB&J flavor while my friend Janet got the normal chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. Yeah, good. <laughs> nice. Do you want me to film you eating it? Sure. Yes. <laughs> so since we're on the cookie bandwagon, I thought I would just add in a small clip here with creme cookies in London. So these are the super thick cookies they're kind of like the equivalent of the new york levon cookies okay. ready yeah oh <gasps> that was that's such a nice tear oh my god <laughs> is it good nicole okay really try and we got the vegan double chocolate chip cookie and it was really good as well it's kind of like a soft brownie almost okay okay let me it's like a brownie okay oh my god the chocolate is like melted So I thought I'd throw in a really special restaurant at the very end, which is Bonsai Plant Kitchen. So I came here with my buddy June again when she was visiting London, and we had a day trip to Brighton. So we came into this kind of Japanese tapas style restaurant and tried a lot of their small dishes, which is, oh my god, you guys will see. Mm. Good. <laughs> What you got? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so good. Yeah, so good. Dude, I feel like the glaze is just next level. Yeah, the glaze is. No, yeah, the flavor is like all freaking good. <laughs> Your face. Oh yeah. Look at him. Hold on. 
you know? on the outside, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fuck. I didn't think I, I like it like grew on me. When he first took the photo, I was like, eh. How do you want me to cut half, half, half? Oh, half. Yeah, let's go down one side. Oh, come on, no, that. Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. So tender. So. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, town. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> Juicy. Juicy. Wait, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. I love, I love it. Yeah, you said, oh, it's aubergine. Mm -hmm. So good. What? Oh, it's been too long. It's like Tao Ling. Okay, the fact that they can turn a vegetable into this. Yeah, what the normal restaurants can. You do the tar though. Mm -hmm. The tar on the leaves, my god. Cross section. Needless to say, you guys, we love this place. If you're in Brighton, please come and try this. So good for sharing the tapas. Amazing. June is not a vegan and she loved this place, so go.